You are welcome to solve this nice exponential equation, which is 9 to the power x times 9 to the power x. This is equal to 60. So what is the value of x? Now, solution. This exponential equation is in the form of a to the power n times a to the power m, which we can express as a to the power n plus m. Applying this exponent property, then this implies that here we have 9 to the power x plus x. This is equal to 60. Now, here we have 9 to the power x plus x, which is 2x. This is equal to 60. To solve for x, we introduce logarithm on both sides. That is rock 9 to the power 2x. This is equal to rock 60. Now, log 9 to the power 2x, this is in the form of log a to the power n, which you can express as n log log a. Applying this power rule property, then log 9 to the power 2x, this can be expressed as 2x log 9. This is equal to log 60. Now, let's divide both signs by log 9. So that now, we have here 2x, this is equal to rog 60, divided by rog 9. The next step from here, we can express 60 as, this is the same thing as 12 times 5. So this is 2x equal to rog 12 times 5 divided by rog 9. So rog 12 times 5, this is in the form of rog a times b, which we can express as rog a plus rog b. Applying this property, then here we have 2x, this is equal to rog 12, divided by rog 9, then plus rog 5, divided by rog 9. So let's proceed. We can express 12 as 4 times 3, and we can express 9 as 3 to the power 2. This implies that here we have 2x. This is equal to rog. This is 4 times 3. Divided by rog. 3 to the power 2. Then plus rog 5. Divided by rog 3 to the power 2. Now, the next step is that we can express 4 as 2 to the power 2. Now, this implies that here we have 2x. This is equal to rog 2 to the power 2 times 3 divided by rog 3 to the power 2, then plus rog 5 divided by rog 3 to the power 2. The next step is that we have 2x, this is equal to, now, log 2 to the power 2 times 3, this is actually in the form of rog a times b, which we can express as rog a plus rog b. So this implies that here we have 2x equal to rog 2 to the power 2 divided by rog 3 to the power 2, then plus rog 3, divided by rog 3 to the power 2, then plus rog 5, divided by rog 3 to the power 2. Now, applying the power rule property, then we find that rog 2 to the power 2 can be expressed as 2, rog 2, divided by 2, rog 3, then plus rog 3, Divided by 
2 rook 3 then plus rook 5 divided by this is 2 rook 3 so we can be able to simplify here we can simplify 2 and 2 simplifies and again here rook 3 and rook 3 simplifies so this implies that you have 2x this is equal to rook 2 over rook 3 then plus this is the same thing as a half then plus a half rook 5 over rook 3 the next step is that we have 2x this is equal to a half then plus rook 2 divided by rook 3 then plus a half rook 5 divided by rook 3 so rook 2 over rook 3 and rook 5 over rook 3 this is in the form of rook a over rook b which we can express as rook a to base b applying this property applying this property then we can we can express this as 2x equal to now this is half plus now this is rock 2 to base 3 and then plus half this is rock 5 to base 3 now this is we divide both signs here by 2 so that now the value of x is equal to now this is a half times a half then plus this is the same thing as a half rock 2 to base 3 then plus a half times a half rock 5 to base 3 so this implies that the value of x will be equal to 1 over 4 then plus a half rock 3 that is rock 2 to base 3 then plus 1 over 4 rock 5 to base 3 now this is the value of x this is the value of x so let's verify that this value of x satisfies the equation let's verify this Now, if you recall here, if you recall, we are saying that 9 to power x times 9 to power x, this is supposed to give us a value of 60. Now, this implies that this is in the form of a to power n times a to power m, which we can express as a to power n times a, that is a to power n plus m. Applying this exponent property, we have 9 this to power x plus x, which is 2x. This should give us a value of 60. Now, let's substitute the value of x. So we'll have 9 to power 2 multiplied by x. x here is actually 1 over 4 plus a half rock 2 to base 3. Then plus 1 over 4, we have rock 5 to base this is supposed to give us a value of 60 let's check if this is true so from what we have here we can simplify here so that we have 9 now 2 and 2 simplifies here so this is a half then plus 2 and 2 here simplifies so this is wrong 2 to base 3 then plus now 2 and 2 here simplifies so this is a half wrong 5 to base 3, this should give us a value of 60. Now, we can express 9 as 3 to power 2. So this implies that here, this is 3 to power 2 times, now here we have a half plus rock 2 to base 3, then plus a half rock 5 to base 3, close the bracket here, this should give us a value of 60. Now, 
we can simplify again here by 2 by 2 so this is 3 to power 1 then plus 2 times rock 2 to base 3 so this is 2 rock 2 to base 3 then plus again we have 2 divided by 2 so this simplifies so this is rock 5 to base 3 this is supposed to give us a value of 60 so let's check if this is true 3 to power 1 plus 2 rock 2 to base 3 plus rock 5 to base 3 this can be expressed as 3 to power 1 plus this is rock 2 to power 2 actually this is a power so it's rock 2 to power 2 to base 3 plus rock 5 to base 3 this is supposed to give us a value of 60 now this is actually in the form of a to power n plus m which we can express as a to power n times a to the power m. Applying this exponent property, then this implies that here we have 3 to the power 1 times this is 3 to the power rock 2 to the power 2 to base 3. Then times here we have 3 this to the power rock 5 to base 3. This should give us a value of 60. Now this implies that here, this is 3 to power 1 times, now, 3 to power of 2 to power 2 to base 3 and 3 to power of 5 to base 3. This is in the form of m to power of a to base m, which essentially is supposed to give us a value of a. So this implies that 3 to power rock 2 to power 2 to base 3, this is equal to 2 to power 2, which is actually equal to 4. And 3 to power rock 5 to base 3, this is the same thing as 5. Let's substitute 4 and 5 here. So we have here, this is 3 times 4 times 5. This is supposed to give us a value of 60. So we have 3 times 4, which is 12 times 5. So this is equal to 60 and this is equal to 60. So this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this implies that the value of x, which is 1 over 4 plus a half rock 2 to base 3 plus 1 over 4 rock 5 to base 3, actually satisfies the equation. So kindly follow the steps, like this video, and subscribe. Kindly like and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye bye.